This is graphing a set of inequalities. So here's our problem. I have to graph the solution set, that is all the things that make the following equations true. y is greater than negative 4x plus 8 and y is less than x plus 2. When I graph inequalities I'm first always going to graph the equality. That is, I'm going to change the less than or greater than sign into equal sign. Let's do equation A first. So I'll have y is equal to negative 4x plus 8. This is in slope-intercept form. When an equation is in slope-intercept form, what's easiest to do is start at the y-intercept, and the y-intercept is this plus 8, so 0 comma plus 8, and I'm going to move by the slope. The slope is negative 4. Remember the slope is always change in y divided by change in x. So that means I'm going to go down 4 and then over 1, and that gives me a slope of negative 4. Well actually let's go back and switch to the homework problem and do that there. I'm going to go ahead and click on this zoom button and I want to do a line, but if I notice, this was y is greater than negative 4x plus 8. It's greater than. It's not greater than or equal to. So if it's just greater than, I'm going to always use a dotted line. So let's go ahead and plot my first point. That's at 0, 8. And then I'm going to move by the slope. I'm going to go down 4 and over 1. And that's my second point. I need to decide which side of this line I'm going to shade. Am I going to shade this left side here, or am I going to shade this side there? Well, to do that, I'm going to have to use a test point. I'm going to use my point 0, 0. If I use the point 0, 0, does that make this true? Let's see, 0, is that greater than negative 4 times 0 plus 8? Is 0 greater than 8? Nope it's not. So that means that point zero zero is not part of my solution. So that means I need to shade this side of the line. Alright, that's the first line. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the second line. The second line, let's call this B, y equals x plus 2. If I graph that, I'm going to start at the point 2 comma 0 and I'm going to move by the slope, and the slope is equal to 1, over 1, up 1. Again, I'm going to go ahead and graph this through my math lab, but before I do that, let's go ahead and do that test point. After I graph the equality, I do a test point, and I'm going to again use the point zero, 0. I'm allowed to do that as long as the point zero, 0 doesn't fall directly on the line, which I don't think it does. And if I have 0 is less than 0 plus 2, is that true or that false? Well, I think that's true, so that means that test point is included. So I'm going to shade below that line. So first we're going to graph. I'm going to click on the line again. I'm going to do a dotted line because it's just less than 2. It's not less than or equal to 2. I'm going to start at my y-intercept, which is 0, 2. And I'm going to move by my slope, which is over 1, up 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and shade below that line. Well, really, I just want the area that's, that makes both of these true. Well, both of these areas do not make the solution true. I think it's just this section here already filled in. That made this yellow line true. It was above the yellow line, and it also is below the blue line. So I believe this is my solution. So I'll click Save, and I'll click Check Answer, and I did get this correct.